everyone, my name is Jess, a science facilitator here at Science World. And today I'm going to help show you one of my favorite illusions called the brain warp, found in our puzzles and illusions gallery. So if you want to zoom in onto the spiral over here, I'm going to give it a small spin. And what you want to do is look directly towards the center and try not to look away. Stare straight into the center. Each of these illusions take different amounts of time for each person. So in order for it to work for the majority of people, we're going to stare for quite a bit of time. Keep looking in towards the center there, and don't turn your eyes away. We'll count down to five before we move to the next part, and you'll see what is going to happen. Five, and you're still staring. Four, three, two, one. Now as we zoom over to what is normally stationary painting of clouds, some of you may notice the clouds moving slightly. Pretty amazing. This is called the motion after effect. It was originally described by Aristotle when he described illusionary movement of stationary objects. A couple hundred years ago, it was called the waterfall illusion due to people looking at a waterfall and seeing the cascading water coming down and then looking across to the stationary rocks and they appeared to be moving upwards. It was originally believed that this effect was due to staring at it and having one side of the eye muscles working harder than the other side. And then therefore, when you stared at, stared at a stationary object, cause the other side to pull just a little bit harder and the objects to move. However, turns out it wasn't fooling our eyes but our brain. There are directive, uh, directive sensitive neurons in the visual cortex, so the visual center of our brain that respond to movement. When we look at something that's moving in one direction, those neurons tire out. Therefore, when we look at something stationary, they appear to move in the opposite direction. If you want to test out the effect of the brain rather than the eyes, you can do this yourself by looking at this clip again. This time, try covering one eye when you're looking at the spiral, and then when you look at the clouds, use the other eye. You'll notice the illusion still works. I hope you enjoy this, and we'll see you for our next Puzzles and Illusions video.